Alright guys, I'm gonna make this video as simple as possible. Go ahead and go to your bias from Windows, hit the reset button and click delete until you get prompted to your bias. From here, go ahead and click on default settings, click F5 and I also updated my bias to the latest. Alright, from here I'm going to advanced settings. From advanced settings, I go to the AI tweaker tab. From here we can see our current frequencies. Runs at 3.8 and a boost up to 4.2 GHz, 4200 MHz. My RAM frequency at base clock is running at 2133, but we paid for 3200 as an example. Alright, it's time for the overclock settings. Alright, let's go ahead and start doing the overclock. It's very simple, very easy guys. We we'll click it and highlight it. Right here you can click your desired overclock. Right now I'm going to aim for 4.7. I know it's a long shot. If 4.7 doesn't work for you, dial back down to 4.6. And if it doesn't work for you, then dial back down to 4.5. Or if you are at 4.7, uh, try to change or increase the core voltage as well. That could get it disabled, it all depends. So right after that guys, I am at 4.747 right now. The next thing that I want to do is change the core cache voltage. Right now it's set to auto. I'm gonna change that to manual. Manual mode. Go ahead and change CPU core voltage override. Go ahead and click that in. I'm gonna put in 1.3. I'm gonna set mine to 1.345. And after that, I'm going to click F10 and click OK. If you're able to get into Windows, that means that you had a successful overclock or at least it lets you go into your operating system. From here, what I like to do is open up ADA64 Extreme and test my overclock for at least five to six hours. Obviously, we're not going to do that in the video. Some people say use Prime 95. No, I do not like Prime 95. Well, that is the only way that you can do a CPU test. Well, you can go ahead and try it. Okay, guys, so right now I am running an instability test using ADA64 Extreme. As you can see right there, guys, I am at 4.7 GHz, 4700 MHz and my uh, RAM speed is at 2133. We're gonna go back and we're going to turn on the XMP. But here guys, what I've noticed is that my core voltage is being read at 1.2 and not 1.345. Why is that? I have no clue, but we for a fact know that in our bias, we set it up to 1.345. And as you can see right here guys, I am stressing the CPU, the FPU, the cache, and the system memory. So this right here guys is a heavy load for a computer. Let's go ahead and check our temperatures. Well, I am staying on a good temperature. I'm staying around 63, 50, 55 on core 3, core 4 is staying at 65, it's staying below 70 so that is pretty cool. Right now it has been stress testing for about 3 minutes and a half now. Trust me that if the overclock was bad or it did not pass, it would crash the first 40 seconds of stress testing. So go ahead guys and let it stress test as many hours as you want. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and stop. I have already done a 12 hours stress test with this with 4.7, so I know that I got it stable. You can do eight to 12 hours, as many hours as you want to let it stress test to make sure you have a stable overclock. And with that said guys, let's go ahead and go to the bias again and let's turn on the XMP so we get what we paid for, 3200 megahertz on the RAM. All right, as you can see right there, guys, we got our 4700 megahertz stable. So now let's go ahead and turn on our XMP. And this will come up. So go ahead, guys, if uh, you want to do, uh, you know, high overclocks like the one I'm doing right now, uh, make sure you get some water cooling or a decent air cooler. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and click yes. All right. So now this may confuse you a little bit, but don't worry. What are we going to do here? It's make sure we get our profile. So here we got DDR4 3200. Don't mess around with anything right here, guys. Leave everything the way it is. And right here, just to verify, go ahead and go here and make sure that you got DDR4 at 3200 megahertz. There's nothing else that you really have to do here. Just turn on your XMP and click OK. That's it. And now click F10 to exit out of here. 
and we can see the changes that we did. All right, click OK. Once you get back into Windows, go ahead and open up Ada64 Extreme or whatever software that you like. I'm gonna go ahead and start the stress test. All right, guys, right there we can see our memory clock speeds at 1600, which pretty much is DDR4, double data rate, and well, is running at 3200 megahertz. And with that said, guys, go ahead and let it stress test as many hours as you want. If you had a successful stress test, you can go ahead and do your gaming. But like I said, guys, let it stress test for at least the least that you want to let it stress test. It's four to five hours. Some people let it stress test up to 24 hours to really, really um, check their stability with their overclock. But like I said, I've done my 12 hour overclock stress test and I have passed all of you know my stress test, but have one thing for sure. On the first 45 seconds or probably up to 10 minutes, but when I have a bad overclock, as soon as I start the stress test, not even 45 seconds, it crashes. I get the red screen or I go into the blue screen of the lovely uh, Windows 10 blue screen. And if you crash that, you can either increase the voltage or you can uh, dial back to 4.6 or 4.5. You truly don't have to go up to 4.7, but this right here, guys, is to fill up a lot of egos. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. This was your host, Sergio. Don't forget to give me a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below. The beautiful community is going to reply to you, is going to interact with you. There is a beautiful community here, guys. So, I'll see you guys next time, stay beautiful, stay awesome, good luck with your overclock. Right here we can see the CPU core ratio, click in here, highlight it, and type in your desired overclock. I'm going to go for 4.7. <laughs> what the hell? Don't... <laughs> Don't type in 4.7, please. <laughs> I'm going to run my overclock at 800 megahertz. Oh, my God.